Hello and welcome to West Gray. Uh, to start off with, this is about the Yanapi. And uh, I took it up the other day and noticed uh, something was wrong with the propellers. Uh, if you look on Facebook, there's a lot of talk about some problems with the batteries or uh, some firmware issues that a lot of Yanapis are falling out of the sky for no reason, just like the Xenos did with the battery problems. Well, uh, before I get into that, uh, we are in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, I guess, and in the uh, central western Ontario here, uh, same thing, for about another month we're on kind of a lockdown, uh, nothing's really open except for grocery stores and pharmacies, etc. Uh, we're out in the country, uh, we barely see a neighbour in two weeks, so uh, we're doing pretty good, we've got enough food stored up and uh, if I have to go into town I'm very, very careful. Uh, it reminds me of a story I saw on uh, Facebook uh, a, little, a couple of days ago. It was uh, pretending you were in the year 2030, uh, 10 years from now. Uh, a mom and her son who just came back from college. And uh, the son asked the mom, what was it like back in 2020 when they had the COVID-19 scare? And she said it was a horrible time. She said... <coughs> Nobody went anywhere, nobody talked to anybody, nobody touched anybody, uh, hardly anything was open. It was a scary, scary time. And the son replied, do you know what I remember? He said, I remember we had family dinners together, we played board games, we talked, we read books, we discussed things around the table. It was uh, the best time of his life. Ooh, lots of flies out now. So, in retrospect, there's always a silver lining to everything. So, hopefully when this is over, people will remember that uh, you don't need all the technology. You don't need uh, to be entertained by anything other than yourself, your family, and your friends. So that's enough of that. It's a depressing thought, but uh, it was just something on Facebook I thought was really interesting. Uh, a different perspective on the, what this pandemic is really doing to a lot of people, to a lot of families. It's bringing them closer together, uh, and that's a good thing. Horrible way to do it, but it's another perspective. Anyway, back to the Anafi. I looked at my Anafi when I took it up the other day and there was a, a little flake on one of the uh, propellers and I'll, I'll show you a, a small little insert here of that propeller. I touched the flake and it broke off and it's right where the hub screw is on the propeller and every time you fire the motors up they spin and I calculated that it was hitting this part of the propeller and over time, after 50, 60, 80 flights, any weakness in that uh, plastic propeller would cause a, uh, a deformity and break off. And as you can see, uh, two of my propellers on the same motor were causing this uh, defect, imperfection. So. Even though it had that imperfection, I said, well, I'm going to see if it affects the flight. And uh, I took it up. It didn't seem to affect it. And I actually ran a battery, a one and a half year old battery that I just fully charged. And I took it up and it was a 22 and a half minute flight. So that's, that's pretty good on a one year old battery. Uh, and it was down to about 10% uh, when I finished. So that's pretty good. But is there a way, or is the fact that this deformity, or maybe a production problem, or a design flaw, is causing the Yafis now to fall from the sky? Is it prematurely breaking off a propeller and causing them to drop? And when you see it land on the ground, you see broken propellers, but you don't know why they broke. So 
that's what I'm attempting to try and find out. So I have some slow motion video here, and believe me, trying to get slow motion of the propellers booting up <coughs> took a little bit of practice. The first time I did it, I figured, well, I'll put it in hand launch, where you put it in your hand, and when you start it to, to launch, it counts down, three, two, one, and then you throw it up in the air. And if you don't throw it up in the air, the motor's stuck. Well, I tried that. I put it on a box, and I had the camera right above it, with slow motion. I activated the camera, I pushed the button for a hand launch, and it didn't. It blew up, and it was almost about to hit the camera, it was about two feet or a foot above uh, the propellers, and I startled, I was startled, and I put my hand in it, and I got one, two, three, f four really good cuts on my hand. And so I figured there's got to be a better way. So the better way was to put the nappy on the ground, okay, and I had my wife at the controller, and I said, just push the launch button, and I was over with camera and you'll see some of these slow motion videos here and I position the propellers in different ways and which way did not interfere with the screws when it powered up so there's I think three or four different ways here and when I was over with the camera I started the camera signal to my wife to push the button it started the propellers. As soon as the propellers started up, I moved away and stopped the video. All I wanted to do was get the start up. And that seemed to work better. I didn't have any injuries. And my wife, my wife was excited to push the button. And then you push the button again and it landed. So I did that in the house. And as you know, when you start up the NAF, it only raises up about three feet. So I wasn't scared of it going into the roof or anything. So that was that. So. I replaced placed both propellers because they were the only ones that seemed to be affected. And it was the right motor here. And depending on because the right motor and pardon me, the left motor. Nope, right motor, sorry. Depending on how you position the propellers on startup determines how it boots up and if these screws impact the propeller. And I found out which way was better. Um, a lot of people, even with the Xeno, initially said, well, you start with them straight out. And by looking at these slow motion videos, you can see that may not be the best way. So I've got a picture of the setup for all four motors right here to show you exactly uh, the best way, I think, to position your propellers any other way and you take a chance of that hub, that propeller screw, hitting the other screw when it fires up. So that's about it. Uh, this was all about the propellers. The batteries, never fly your nappy with a low battery, even if it's 60%, fire it up again. Let it drain down to below 20%, 15%, and then charge it up again. If you leave it for more than a day, charge it back up again because it's going to sleep mode. Okay? So that's the Anafi. Other than that, it works perfectly. Uh, after my little accident, I recalibrated everything and I took it up here and it works perfectly. So uh, that's, uh, that's all I have to say for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and the bell and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.